three of the Six Nations is a time where the competition becomes make or break for a lot of the big teams. For today's matchup, Italy and Scotland, their hopes and dreams of winning the Six Nations title has seen them go past. But there's still a lot of pride, still a lot to play for in these last remaining games. They can still upset the apple cart, and that is exactly what they'll be trying to do. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cool Flakes Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Six Nations competition with our second match of round three. It is the Italians at home to the Scottish and we have what is in store to be quite a good match as the two usual strugglers of the competition look to play out to decide who could well take home that wooden spoon with a couple of rounds still to play. The Italians haven't shown much of what they can do this season, but they always seem to lift for that possible chance to beat the Scotsman. They have made just a couple of changes, most notably in the front row of Giardini coming in to the hooker role. A couple of changes in the back line with Homona making a gracious return back to the side, and Audet at fullback as well, making a reclaim to that number 15 jumper. Here is the Scotland 15, and there is just a couple of changes here as well. Wilson making a late appearance in at number eight, replacing a late injury to David Denton. Tim Visser also comes on to the left wing. Seymour moving away to the right. Taylor and Bennett will be the menacing duo in midfield once again, and an otherwise unchanged 15, a well-performing pack that has only changed due to injury. The Scots will look good, but they've always been their team of oh so close, but not quite there yet. They'll hope to demolish the Italians today and go further. Just another step on the ladder to becoming a team that can well compete for the Six Nations title. Here we go. It is kickoff time. Italy with the ball. Kelly Haimona. We'll have the duties of kicking off and away we go round three of the Six Nations. Italy, Scotland is underway and it's John Hardy finding Taylor. Oh and it's Seymour! Here comes the electricity already! Right round from Tommy Seymour, but it's turned over from Zani. Here come the Italians. Why Sinatini? He's running all over the place. He's not really any clue where he's going. Tipsy Tommy left and right. Eventually a great Please. run from Sinadini, there yeah, he didn't make much ground but he proved very elusive wide come the Italians, good chance Ken Magnaro looks outside for Sato who's met nice. with a heavy tackle from Tim Visser. recycled quickly, away it goes oh Hamona no way through there at all Dickinson steals the ball for Scotland and throws it promptly away. Sato comes up with it. Bang ball! Campo Naro! Massive space for him! Gets the off right away! Visser in pursuit! Alongside Finn Russell as well. Good tackle. Puts him down. 10 metres out. Great chance for Italy. Haimona changes directions. Looks to the right corner. Sinadini is where again does well. Sato! Sato! Still going. The little grubber what seemed to be off the knee. Didn't quite come off too heavy. And Italy take a breath. What an absolute frantic start from these two sides, especially the Italians. Creating many chances already. Scotland touched the ball once and threw it away instantly. Drop out from Ladlaw, goes deep. Finds time owner who quickly goes to the left side and Bellini was just about in some space. The big clash contact between Bellini and Seymour. Put the winger into touch just. Seven man line out, called for Scotland here. They go to the front. Gray is sitting. Hardy cleans up at the back as all good flankers know how to do. Scotland competing, but they'll lose this ball. Good work, Italy. Now they swing it wide. Good chance to Sinatini. Finds through Masato. Back to Campbell Naro. Cuts him in half. Surely an intercept. No. Parise does well to just take that ball away. So there for Gordy. Back to Haimona. He's kicked on a big angle here. This is a nothing kick at all. Make it something, Haimona. Good piece of play. Kelly Haimona adds a little bit extra back to this Italian back line with a great little dink over the top. Puts pressure on the Scottish line out. 
which we've seen with the last throw, didn't go too well. Ford this time gives it away. Well taken, Fister at the front pulls it in for the Italians. More ball here for them. Zanadini, Haimona, mid cutout pass. Oh, that is a bread and butter tackle Release. on the left side for Tim Visser. Jordy. Haimona with a jump goal. It looks on target. It's just short. Hog, Hog, running it out. Goes out the back door. That's dreadful. Well, that's another chance gone begging for Scotland just to hold the ball. Hogg didn't have to do much there, but look at who was that Crouch. was chasing up. Cut. It was Kelly Hymona. Almost an amazing job goal to break the steadlock. It did go straight, but they've earned themselves a five meter scrum for the lost ball by Hogg. Good scrum too from the Italians. Gordy looks to go short side on the left, cuts it back nicely. Zani did very well. Gordy, Gordy, that was so chance he's gone dead and go as well. Well, the Italians persevering with this little grubber close to the line. And Scotland are on the back foot. Still, they have been for nearly all this match. And they stay there as well this time. Deep kick from Laidlaw. Room again out wide. There's a big chance for Bellini. He does it. He beats his man. He beats the fullback hold. And Bellini goes to the left hand side. What a try. What a finish by the left winger. Italy lead five now. And Bellini finally finishes off what he starts. Great play. Great piece of work out to the left side. The dummy, the dummy, the show, the go. He is away and he is an excellent finisher in the corner. Pitting say almost first man there to celebrate with him as well. The captain appreciates that try by his winger. Hog was left for dust and not even Tommy Seymour could make up the ground. And the left winger Bellini made up. That was an exceptional try by Italy. And now Haimona. With a chance to make it seven, the Italians could have a handy lead here on the half hour mark. Hamona strikes, it looks all right. Oh, he struck the upright. Unlucky for a man who has been inspirational at fly half in this first opening 30 minutes of the game. He has been sublime. Has Hamona, the drop goal, the control. Everything in his game has directed it well for the Italians. Up goes the kickoff, and oh, great tackle Release. there on Zani, who did very well to pull that in. Santo, Santo, he's still going. Right that is just disrespectful from Santo to do that to the Scottish defence. How on earth did he manage to do that? Then Buffa, big hit from right in front of him. Crouch. Picked him up. Drove him into touch. Safe. And uh, dare I say it, Scotland have the feet to the scrum. First time we've really seen them with a chance to get possession. If they can keep it, they may be able to work something, not throw the ball away. Now they'll run. It's Wilson. Goes himself. Ladlaw does well. Hardy. Big pass, Hardy. Away to Taylor. Oh, good tackle, Duncan Taylor. He's hard to put away, but a good piece of work there from the Italian defenders. Seymour waits for it. Runs it himself. Hardy. Oh, that's dreadful. Seymour has to come pick up the pieces. Almost in two minds there, John Hardy. Now he's on the ball. Taylor. He's through again. Duncan Taylor. Simmies. Stamps and trips. Gets up. Goes again. Great work. Skull in the back here. They're awake. Could this be their calling? Half time goes. This is an absolute brutal time to score. Wilson. Russell. Dickinson. And the back line he's knocked it on. And it's advantage. Oh, another advantage. So it's knock on City here at the moment. First knock on going against Scotland. That will be half time. Well, Dickinson, his eyes lit up, didn't they? He saw all that space. He saw numbers out wide. And he coughed it up. Disappointing end. Scotland finally got some ball. And they looked all right, too. But look at these stats. 
this is ridiculous here. 5 0 Italy lead, and there's only one way they're going to keep that lead too, is if they keep all the ball like they did in the first half. 81% of possession, 70% of territory. That is a ridiculous amount to the Italians. Line breaks are low. Three by Italy, one by Scotland, which was right at the end. They can't do much without the ball. Handing her so yet to say is probably the downfall for the Scots where they are losing the ball the main way as well. But they can pick that up, they can clean it up, and they can get right back into this match with one moment of brilliance. Can they pull it back or will Italy get what could be quite a big win for their Six Nations season? Well, Landlaw's one who's normally involved very much with the kicking off the tee and things like that, but he's had nothing to do in this match so far. He kicks off, second half underway, left side again, go to Scots, and up there with the Italians, Campagnaro and Sato are absolutely owning Please. that right-hand touchline. Scotland looks to commit numbers to the breakdown, but the ball still comes back for Italy. It and he does well. Oh, leaks away again. It's for so. He comes up against Hogg at the back. Hogg does well to pull him down. Plenty of blue jumpers there for the Scots. Bennett quickly distributes wide. Here's Tommy Seymour. Oh, big hit there really? on Seymour. Now, first man to this breakdown. Richie Gray didn't really expect it, but he did well. Bennett to Russell. Russell Dickinson again. This time he gets a well. And it's Ford who can't get away. Numbers were there for Scotland. Still Visser waiting on the wings. Now, big ball again. Deep line here. And Seymour breaks them in half. Can he break their hearts? He goes to the touchline. Looks to step. But Campagnaro does well Please. from behind. Saves the day for Italy. But can he save the match? Taylor, destructive. Visser, Visser, trying to barge through. Quickly to the breakdown. Ah, the Scots. Ladlaw to Taylor, oh monstrous hit there from Garcia, wide, Bennett, Bennett sweeping away one and just about goes away again, this is amazing defence and fluid attacking rugby from Scotland, deep ball to Seymour, he's steep, he's running straight through, he could win this for Scotland, but he's taken down, another good tackle and a turnover from Gordy. oh that is game changing, from the Italian scrum half. Hogg running sideways, waiting for a support. Finds it in Barkley. Ford, who had a Bennett. Numbers out here. Von Russell leads the charge. He goes away to Fischer. Fischer does well to Gray. Gray fires back in the Ford. Ford to now. Not the numbers you want out there. Landlaw goes back. Russell's in tow. Here's Richie Gray again. Wilson all takes a big hit and has fallen to Cittadini. And will calm everything down now. Oh, it's a big high tackle coming in from Wilson. What an absolute amazing period of rugby. Does Homeowner have 55 metres? We're going to find out. I've never seen a Scottish side knock on the door here of the Italians for so long and come away unrewarded. Here's Homeowner. Big kick. It's on target but looks well short. Barkley will run it back. The blind side flanker, away to Russell. Russell runs steep, Visser has to get it on the bounce. Visser does well, goes through one, intercepted! And away come Italy! Big chance, inside ball, Panisse! Oh, big tackle on Sergio! And a turnover from Russell as well. Here's Hardy, out to no one! That's it, no, it's a stolen ball again. Just short, Panisse. Now they go away, Sonadini back inside, Homona! That's a try! Surely, yes! Italy will do upset of the century. Scotland can't believe it. They well should be celebrating down the other end because they were just sublime, but they could not finish it. Their defence was dedicated as ever, but the Italians would not stop offloading. Look at that, it's ridiculous. Wilson at the end tried to stop the route, but he couldn't do it. Well, this game has gone up another level, folks, in the second half. May not be the high-scoring thriller that many people enjoy, but this is rugby at its finest. Italy go over for their second try. Scotland still scoreless. Kelly Imona 
missing a penalty goal that could have put him beyond reach. They've done one better and they've scored a try. Conversion attempt from Haimona is good. It's 12 0. How many saw this coming from the Italians? Not many, I'd bet. What's well, Ladlaw got up his sleeve now? He needs something different. That left hand touchline kick isn't working, but he still perseveres with it. The variation at least is all. Oh, Campagnaro has been Release. smashed. The Italians try desperately to hold on to the ball, and they do. They go short side. Miracle pass back inside. Hardy makes the tackle. Both teams throwing numbers to the Release. brace down. It will come back for the Italians. Back to Haimona. It goes. There's the knock on. Now it's ball back for Scotland. Can they secure it? It's going to be hard and tough. Over. There it is. Great. Away for Taylor. Duncan Taylor. Oh, he stopped again. Numbers were just queuing up Release. outside him. He couldn't find the pass. Amazing defense from Italy. Ladlaw. Russell. Nell. Visser, Visser over the corner, Visser is over, it's a try, try to Scotland, it's not over yet. Well they leave it late but Tim Visser's got it. There may still be life in the old beast yet. Well why couldn't they do this 10-15 minutes ago and they had the chance. Visser did everything to get away from Sato who still caught him. The Italians are playing out of their skin. They know what this will mean for their rugby country. Great try from Vissa though. Never say die attitude by the Scots. We're used to seeing that. We expect that from them week after week as well. Ladlaw. With all the pressure of the world on his shoulders. He needs to get this kick. For any chance of Scotland being successful in this match, he needs this kick and he's delivered. Whoa, that is absolute nerves of steel from Greg Ladlaw. It's 12 7. Do not go anywhere. Hold the phone. Tell your mother dinner will be late today because we have an absolute steamer on our hands. Oh, dreadful ball! Homona picks it up! Chance for the Italians to put this one away! Three minutes to go! They really needed to hold on to that ball there, did Scotland! Oh, it's knocked on! It's picked up from Visser! Now's the chance for Scotland! They've got 55, 60 minutes to go! Bennett! Oh, he's been so close to breaking this Italian line all day long! They throw the numbers in! They get the reward of the ball. Russell, away to Hardy. Here we go. Seymour, Seymour running. Seymour wants support. He needs support. Finds Dickinson, does well. Taylor, Taylor straight. Straight as where he goes. He's hit hard though. Cover defence. Claims Duncan Taylor. Oh, Italy. Italy might claim this ball. This could be game over. It could well be. Gordy goes away to home owner. And that'll do it. What a matchup. What an absolute stunning matchup! Scotland just could not get that rhythm. And the Italians did it ugly. They battled and they fought and they did everything they needed to do. Scotland come back late. They had a couple of chances in the dying moments. But the result just could not go their way. The ball just didn't bounce. Anyway, near Scotland, it fell every which way you can imagine, except where they needed it to go. 12 7, a low scoring affair, not even 20 points in the match. Three tries, though, but wow. The defense and the attack by these two sides was extraordinary. One of the best games I have seen in all my time calling these matches. It was an absolute stunner, and Scotland could have well stolen it right at the end. Instantly to them. To their credit, fair play, they did go the distance. Two tries, Safusa and Bellini were all they required. Haimona, one conversion, almost cost them the match. Visser with a try, Ladlaw conversion. And how many times do we see Duncan Taylor and Mark Bennett half break the Italian defensive line and not, not quite get that last play away? They didn't quite beat that last defender. 
and that was all it took. Italy's defence held strong right to the bitter end. On to the stats and well this really shows what a match it was between these two sides. 50-50 possession, 52-48 territory. Scotland really did come back hard but it was a couple of moments of brilliance from the Italians that held them in the match. Five line breaks apiece. Scotland handing errors 10 to 4. That could be a big difference when they look at this match back tomorrow. All in all, it is a great day for Italian rugby. They get the win over Scotland. A big upset here in the Six Nations. And we have round three halfway complete now. One match still to go. England and Ireland set to be a stunning match as well. That wraps up my time for today. Thank you everyone for tuning and watching. Hope you have enjoyed the Six Nations coverage as we make our way through round three. I'll be back again very soon for our final match of the third round. Of course, England versus Ireland. Hope to see you all there as well. If you're enjoying the Six Nations series, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as well. And I'll be back again very soon for more rugby action. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.